New at noon, a Westchester County woman charged in the death of her daughter changed her plea to guilty. CBS News' Dave Carlin joins us live from outside the courthouse in White Plains, where the woman just appeared in court. Dave. 52-year-old Kathleen Dimes is a former nurse, and that's why prosecutors say they don't buy that the overdose death of her child was an accident. So let's take you inside the courtroom and show you what was happening there. Now, this was as a mother pleaded guilty to negligent homicide, endangering the welfare of a child, possession of a controlled substance. It is her daughter, Lacey Carr, just six years old, who was found dead in their Croton on Hudson home in April, and the mother was unconscious nearby. Right now, we want you to listen to what was said in the courtroom, and at times remember that her defense attorney blocks our view of her. Let's listen in. Further admit that you, acting in your role as mother and caregiver to Lacey Carr, that you failed to provide the child with adequate supervision and guardianship by creating a dangerous environment for the child while you both occupied that second floor bedroom. Do you admit that? Yes, it was an accident. Again, do you admit that, ma'am? Yes. You failed in your legal obligation as a parent to obtain immediate medical care for Lacey Carr in an effort to save her life, and instead of seeking medical care for your child, you proceeded to intoxicate yourself with alcohol and prescription drugs. Is that correct? No, she was already no, dead. She's not that I can't hear you. Thing about you. I'm going to ask you again. Dead. May Sorry, I say it again? She, Lacey was already dead. I couldn't, I, it's not that I didn't get help for her. She was gone already. Ma'am, you did not call 911 or attempt to get medical aid in any attempt to resuscitate or save the life of your child. Is that no, correct? No, because she was gone already. The case provided us with an unusual scene as Dimes was brought into the courthouse and back out of it on a stretcher being taken back to a hospital where we say she suffers or we've heard she suffers from severe depression brought on by years of substance abuse. Her next court date is April 12th. She does face as part of the plea agreement a maximum four years in prison. Live in White Plains, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Dave, thank you very much.